Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Game and Crane Tips. Ah uh, yeah yeah, and not so ah uh, yeah yeah. Today I got a comment from this guy called Darren Rose. Knobhead, the counterweight is the wrong way, and you drop the weight onto the pins. Thanks, bro. I guess my head is a bit knob shaped, and yeah, in capital letters, but it's all good. But thanks, Darren, for bringing it up, bro. Um. I love criticism and I have been wrong about things before. Now I did notice the counterweight was the wrong way and I did bring it up with the contractors on site and um, here to look into it, I don't know how far that went but what I did was I used two cranes for that video and I just wanted it to be easy enough because I, I'm strapped for time and so I came down on that crane's counterweight and that's when I noticed yeah it was the wrong way around. Now I've done some investigation. Because sometimes on older Franners, things are backwards. I remember um, this old Franner, like this really early version, uh, the Luff and the Tally were on opposite sides. And certain other things were on opposite sides. But I wanted to do some more investigation bec before I found out that it, as, that it was actually the wrong way around with the older Franners. Because sometimes, yeah, like I say, I remember the levers were wrong way around. Certain things were wrong, uh, were were different to the new ones. So, what me old mate Darren Rose is talking about is um, here's a Franner counterweight that I've drawn up. All right. Now I've drawn this up. Now you notice on one side of the Franner counterweight, there's shaving off angles here on one side. And then there's a square edge on this side. This square edge should be closest to the wheels. And this angled edge should be furthest away from the from your back wheels. So it should be on the this edge is pretty much flush with the bonnet. So that's where this edge should be. On the video, it was the other way around. Now I did have a look at it and I thought, well, the pins wouldn't align if this was the other way around and it wouldn't come up. And I seen if it was hitting anything, it didn't hit anything. So I was like, before I shot the gun, I thought I'd do some investigation. What well, Darren Rose reckons it is, and I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, it is the wrong way around. Now it was a contractor crane on site, so you know, maybe those guys didn't know what was up. But I should have mentioned something. I probably forgot. I went and had lunch and forgot to tell you guys. But yeah, so this side should be at the rear of the crane. All right. Now I'll show you even more. We'll go into this um, screen share. Yeah, there's Darren's comment. Knobhead. Cheers, bro. Thanks. <laughs> Good pickup, though. Now, where have we got? We've got one which is... Oh, here we go. Now, if you can see my cursor, see the counterweight here? See how there's a little box here which sort of says the angled part, which is the angled part on my picture here. So see where my cursor is? The angled part should be at the back, flush with the, the up and down of the bonnet, and the square part should be closest to the tyres when you put the counterweight on. Alright, so I hope you can see that. I hope that's uh, zoomed in. But you get my message. And then Darren Rose also reckons he rests the weight on the pins. So if you remember my video, um, if you remember my video that I had in the side of these counterweights, see there, you put pins in there. And that's so if the rams come down, it, it can't come down. They're trapped by the pins. Now, some operators, I've had gurus who've been operating Franners for 25 years or, you know, or less or whatever. I've had some of them say, no, I keep them up. And if they come down, they fall on the pins. And then I've had other guys say, no, nah, I rest a little bit of weight on the pins. So Darren, he reckons that he rests the weight on the pins. So there's a bit of an argument there, but... Maybe we need a, I need to ring up T-Rex and just say, hey, bro, what's the deal? Maybe I can do that today since I've got nothing to do. So anyway, I hope that helps, guys. Um, yeah, it was the wrong way. Don't get it the wrong way. We might as well get things the right way. You know what I mean? So yeah, make sure this end 
is furthest away from the wheels. It's at the back of the crane, this checkered edge. So it's good. It's good getting some feedback. Um, it's good showing you how to do it, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't a good look on the video, though, having it backwards. But, yeah, like I said, I just came down on the counterweights, and it was like that. And I was like, wow, I can't stop now. Because uh, a few of my followers really needed that video. They had uh, work on Monday, and they needed to know how it goes. So hopefully they're not going around with their counterweights on backwards. <laughs> But um, I'm sure not. <laughs> it's all good though. If there's no damage, uh, there's there's no worry. But yeah, thanks, Darren Rose. Uh, I hope this helps, guys. I'm not perfect, man. It's all good. Like this video. Subscribe here. Dell's rigging and crane tits. Uh, yeah, yeah.